Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here. The moon is still out. It is morning. I haven't slept. Not sure if you guys can tell. Probably look pretty tired. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. Uh, I know a lot of you were saying that uh, I overreacted or that, you know, I'm not to blame or anything like that. And that may be true, but the kind of guy I am is I, I, I like to take responsibility for things that even if it's not perceived to be my fault, I perceive it as my fault. And that bird perceived it as my fault. And I, I'm sorry! How many times can I say that bird? But I, anyways, uh, today is Canada Day for you guys. For me it's not. But you know, for you guys it's Canada Day. I'll be celebrating that tomorrow by probably sleeping a lot of the day. But you know, holiday, that's what they're for. Uh, today is kind of like a holiday though in Canada. It's uh, draft day. And I know a lot of you aren't uh, big into sports and, you know, especially hockey. But uh, I am. I love hockey. So I'm going to talk about it. I'm really excited. I'm not sure uh, not sure what my team's going to do. But uh, this is the highest pick that we've had in, I think, four years. So who knows what could happen. You know, draft day, anything could happen. There's a lot of talk about our goalie being traded. And I, oh, hold on a second here. Jump cut. Anyone remember that from a very old Foster the Canadian video? That, I think the video uh, where I featured that was actually a couple uh, years old now. It might have been 2011. But draft day is pretty cool. Canadian holiday for me. Uh, so it's kind of like a double holiday. Pretty excited. I might sleep through it though. I'm thinking that, you know, I've been up all night. Probably going to sleep through it. And uh, I've been walking a lot. I've walked uh, crazy. I, I think it was like 30 kilometers that I've walked over the past like 24 hours because uh, I don't know I, I, I got a lot of editing done and I find walking relaxing you know I, I'm not gonna go out jogging right now but it seems to work and uh, I like the view and I'm gonna show you that view in a second jump cut you see that right there proof of the Sasquatch that's right Bigfoot he is here with his big feet and his big head and uh, Harry and the Hendersons was a great movie and underrated, absolutely underrated. I love that movie. And uh, we haven't gotten to the good scenery yet. Found out that that's where they get oil, though. So that's not a, uh, it's all right scenery. You know, if you take away the oil and the trucks behind it, that you can't really see from the camera, but you can hear it. Bird. Like that, that's a pretty good view. And uh, so is that. Pretty good views, I mean, you know. Not as good as uh, the views that you get in Mass Effect, but yeah, it's still pretty good. But oh man, Mass Effect, holy cow, what a game. Like when you're on the Turian moon and you're looking down at the planet and Garrus is all like, you see that bright red spot where the Reapers are blowing crap up? That's where I used to live. And I'm like, oh man, I can relate. The game starts with Vancouver, what you just saw, being blown up. And uh, I think that's actually the first time that Vancouver has been featured in like a a real blockbuster video game title other than you know like sports games and whatnot so yeah that, that was really special to me to start out Mass Effect 3 easily one of my favorite games and favorite franchises in my hometown oh man if there weren't a bunch of like trees and houses right now I'd uh, give you another good day you know what, screw it here you go boom not sure if you can really see the city anymore but yeah, and I, I wanted to clarify when I said that I walked 30 kilometers, what I meant was I walked 5 kilometers and then I walked 5 kilometers back home. And then I went, okay, that's enough. And I relaxed for like 5 hours. And then uh, I walked out again today. <clears throat> Did a bug just fly him up? Jump cut. Man, that was gross. So I, I walked 10 kilometers and now I've got to go 10 kilometers back home. And I'm stalling. I'm walking very slow because my legs, my legs aren't up to the task. But, you know, I've got to get home. I'm very tired. Uh, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I do want to make a prediction, though. Even though now it's, for you guys, it's past the, uh, the actual NHL draft. But I want to predict Nathan McKinnon going first overall. And uh, I've been saying it since 2011 that he's going to be the first overall pick this year. And it's, it's going to happen. You guys wait and see. I know a lot of people are saying, you know, the connections with Colorado and Seth Jones and his dad and whatnot. But, uh, nah, it's, it's going to be Nathan McKinnon. It has to be. And if uh, Colorado isn't going to pick Nathan McKinnon, then 
they're probably going to trade their pick away and someone else is going to draft Nathan McKinnon first overall because it's going to happen. And uh, another bold pick, I guess kind of bold pick, Sam Morin to uh, the Vancouver Canucks. And I'm not sure if that would mean that the Canucks would have to trade up to get him. Or this is probably boring the crap out of you, but you know, it's interesting to me. I'm not sure if the Canucks would have to trade up to get him or if it means Sam Morin slides down to the Canucks pick, but that's uh, my prediction. So, see if I'm right. And until next time, this is Foster the Canadian. Outrotation! See ya! Oh, Bugs! Not the bunny! It's a rabbit anyway.